This street in Rio de Janeiro's Vila Isabel neighborhood has been decorated for every men's World Cup since 1982. But now, for the first time, it's covered with the colors of Brazil to root for the women's team. We are trying to get the ball rolling on this project so we can cheer for the women as we have been doing for the men. It is time we start promoting equality. It's also the first time that the Vila Isabel Neighbors Association is hosting an all-female party to watch Brazil's debut in the tournament and offering participants free t-shirts. Government workers could start work late. Kickoff in Adelaide, Australia was 8 a.m. Rio time. The government allowed civil servants to arrive up to four hours late so they could catch the matches final whistle. It didn't take long for these women to jump for joy as Brazil scored four goals to defeat tournament newcomers Panama 4-0. This far it has been easy, but we deserve to advance and win this cup because we need to empower women both on and off the football pitch. And that is because the legendary Marta, a six-time FIFA player of the year, who has scored more World Cup goals than any man or woman in history, said this tournament will be her last. She's now 37 years old. And there are several reasons for all this excitement. The main one is that while the men's team holds a record of five World Cups, the closest the Brazilian women's team got to the trophy was a runner-up finish to Germany in 2007. How deep in this tournament will the Brazilian women's team go? These fans are hoping they will win the cup in honor of Marta and in honor of all Brazilian women footballers who, believe it or not, were banned from the sport from 1941 until 1979. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.